Here we have a very nice looking 2011 Mercedes-Benz C220 CDI Sport Estate in grey. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread wise we're looking at around 3mm there. Looking at the offside front alloy, these lovely AMG polished alloys. Um, there's one or two light little marks here and there, but no signs of any curbing or any scuff marks at all to the alloy. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, it is a little bit wet today, but I've had a good look and I can't see any signs of any dinks or any dents at all to the bodywork. It does look very clean. One or two light scratches around the arts just require polish. Mirror appears to be in a nice condition. Driver's door again, just one or two light little marks here and there. Apart from that, it does look very well. A couple of scratches around the door handle, as you can see there, very light, so should be able to polish without an issue. One or two little minor nicks in the door edge require some touchings as well. Both the sills are in nice condition, you've got your roof bars on top as well. Rear passenger door again looks very clean for its age. Barely any sign of any scratches, and those of which that are on the paintwork are very light anyway. Door edge looks very clean, one or two light scratches around the rear arch, and that appears to be it. To be it there. Rear tyre, we're looking at a good three to four mil. And looking at the offside rear alloy, we've got some signs off some corrosion. Like I said, they are a polished finish, so once the water gets underneath, they do start to corrode. And uh, around the centre cap, you can see we've got some corrosion again. No sign of any curbing or anything like that, but again, there is some corrosion to the alloy. Moving towards the rear of the vehicle. Moving around to your rear bumper, you've got rear parking sensors. A couple of scratches on the rear tailgate, as you can see there, so definitely require a couple of paint and a good polish and mop to the rear bumper here. A lot of light scratches. No side rear looks fine. No signs of any serious damage. It is electric boot. As you can see, no issues there. Works perfectly fine. Lovely condition in the back there. You've got your parcel shelf, etc. Take a look underneath the tray here. As you can see, we have got a spare wheel and all the bits and bobs in there, so that's spot on. If we just get the boot shut up. There we go. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Once again, we're looking at around 3mm of tread there. Look at the near side rear alloy. Um, one or two light little scratches, as you can see. Again, we've got some signs of corrosion, especially around the centre. So again, potential refurb required here. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, once again, as you can see, the bodywork looks very clean. No signs of any dents at all. And I personally can't spot any dinks either. Again, some scratches to paint where it require polish. No chips at all in the rear door edge or the front door edge. They're looking very clean. And again, just one or two light scratches to the paintwork. A little bit of a scuff underneath here, as you can see. It has chipped some of the paint there, so beware of that. And one or two light scratches to the mirror require polish, and again some light scratches to the bodywork. Front tyre on the near side again around 3mm, but with a lot of wearing there to the outer edge, and a lot of corrosion to this near side front alloy, and also some scuffs and curbs as well as you can see, so definitely going to require a refurb to the near side front. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, we've got some light scratches on the near side front, bit of a scuff there on the front as well, also along the front there. Some scuffs underneath the lower front bumper, and also some touchings required to the bonnet and the front as well. Move around to the interior of the vehicle. We are looking at a half black leather and cloth. Again, looks very clean, very tidy, no signs of any damage, no stains or marks at all to the cloth. A very nice condition inside. Back of the seats are looking very well, and again, lovely tidy condition inside the vehicle there. Take a look at the driver's seat and the front passenger. Again, driver's seat looks very well. Bolsters are very clean and tidy. We've got partial electric seats. And also the front passenger seat looks to be in a nice condition. Dashboard etc is immaculate, no marks. Steering wheel's not in a bad condition either. Step inside the vehicle, we've got automatic headlights. Mileage, look at 45,118. So very low mileage for the vehicle's age. And we are looking at two sets of keys with a vehicle. Now just getting the car started, car starts perfectly fine with no issues at all there. Multifunction steering wheel again in nice condition, it has got the paddles as well. No point at all with the radio, works perfectly fine, obviously you can pull this down to operate the screen etc. But everything functions very well, 
no problems at all with the blowers, air conditioning works perfectly fine as well, so again, everything works great there. Automatic transmission, slight little stone chip in the screen there, again, just be aware of that there. Look at the documents, we're looking at the V5, the car's had two owners, so two owners on the vehicle. Um, taking a look at the service history, now it is digital with Mercedes. We've got your first one there at 22,000, we're just focusing there, sorry. So your first one at 22,000 there. We have a second one at 36, and it says the next one is until the 51,000 mile mark, or the third of 2015. So we've got a full franchise history with the vehicle, so that's spot on. And we have an MOT till the 17th of the 3rd, 2015. Um, I haven't got the MOT certificate with me at the minute, but there is an MOT certificate, and it does expire on the 17th of the 3rd, 2015. There we have it, guys. A very nice looking 2011 Mercedes Benz C220 Sport Estate. Very nice condition, bit of a polish and some touchings on the outside, maybe some refurbs here and there. Lovely clean condition inside, good mileage, and full franchise history.